hi beautiful libras welcome back to the channel guys thank you for your patience i took a much needed day off yesterday guys i've been grinding every single day doing at least eight videos a day guys it's really hard on the energy especially with the collective reads the energies have been very draining so that's why i took a day off Plus, I took my Tucker into the vet, <laughs> and he had been playing outside. He had straw in his hair. He had grass in his hair. He had cedar boughs in his hair. <laughs> and the vet says to Tucker, you do you, Tucker. <laughs> it was so funny, guys. It's just hysterical to see that dog. He is so good. He is so gentle. He is so kind. I really love having a pet. I really do. Thank you so much for your generosity, guys. Ooh, financial commitments. Hmm, a partnership working together on a fulfilling career. A gift for giving and receiving. A sudden windfall or generosity. Financial support or a work surprise. Hmm, frame. Something you can frame. It could be you becoming self-employed could be to do with art and design book contracts writing taking a class education or law here financial growth coming into fruition abundance hello nice read so far You could be going on a vacation. You, you could be receiving a sudden windfall or a gift from somebody. You could be coming self-employed. I don't know. What? A desire to win. I'm going to win. I'll look better, do better. Oh, someone thought they were going to get someone better than you. <laughs> And now they're all up in their head. Your love has captured me. Everywhere I look, I see your face. Divine union. I felt you left every part of me untouched. I realize now who you are. Don't force it. You let them go. unintentional I never meant to hurt you I'm not who you think I am I could not be trusted I'm more comfortable being friends than being lovers only you I'm not seeing anyone else if that's what you're wondering Practice forgiveness. This person's learning a lesson. Look. They're drinking a lot. Drinking seems to be the only thing that numbs my mental agony. I do things that trigger you. It's the only way I know you care. This person's in regret walking away. I wish I knew then what I know now. They've been playing the waiting game, but they're fantasizing about you, and they are strategizing. I'm coming up with a plan and an offer that you can't refuse. They're communicating with you telepathically. I was trying to remain hopeful, but I feel you slipping away. There's a lot of gossip around here and a lot of jealousy. This person was in their arrogance. They were being arrogant. You've changed this person forever, but I'm not making a move. You, they were waiting for you to contact them. And then they thought they were just too different. Maybe we're just too different. But I love you, and I miss you. 
I'm divinely guided toward you. This was a player who thought that their freedom, their family, maybe they're in a family connection, unsent messages. They are back in the dating scene. They thought that they were unfazed. I'm unfazed by our separation since I wasn't emotionally invested. But this person is saying I'm eliminating anything or anyone that could come between us. You're hard to read. They don't know what to think. The grass was greener. Thinking that the grass was greener by someone else. Now they want one last chance with you. And maybe they have blown their chance with you. They've been partying with their friends to be avoid being alone at home. I'm trying to control the situation to avoid having it control me. They're saying focus on yourself. Ooh, they got to divorce someone. They're saying don't lose hope. Trust the plan. It's going to be your choice. But some of you are just saying enough's enough. But this person finds you uncomparable. I'm about to confess my true feelings. Please be willing to listen. When I think about my future, I see you. They've been sleeping around, one night stands. But now they're swearing off all the dating. I have no desire to be with anybody. I want to take things slow. I was in denial how I was feeling about you. But now they've reached a breaking point. This person is stalking you. And Spirit is saying that they are healing. And they're telling you to make them prove it. Make them prove their worthiness. Make them prove what they say. This is a person you may have given chance after chance to. Um, they're trying to numb their pain. Uh, partying so that they don't feel alone. Get creative. Don't limit yourself. Change your method to get ahead. Energy flows where attention goes. Focus and ignore the noise. Huh. You, gotta... you are a deity. Maybe you are a deity. Good news is coming your way with the bell. I knew I had this bell out for a reason. It's time to take action. Sage, purify your energy. Maybe you've gone to the tarot. Maybe you are a tarot card reader. Believe in your strength. Don't doubt. Don't fear. You're stronger than you think you are. So, this person keeps looking at their phone. Should I or shouldn't I? Should I or shouldn't I? Should I go for this? You're uncomparable. I mean, come on now. They regret. I wish I knew then what I know now. They want to return. Since you let them go, now they see what they've lost. I mean, this is destiny. They were a player, okay? Trying to like fantasy or something, taking a risk. They're missing you. <laughs> they were being arrogant. 
They were playing games. They were. But they see a future with you. Unsent messages. Thought the grass was greener. Hmm. They're heavily burdened. They're working really hard here trying to distract themselves. They could invite you on a vacation, a dream holiday or vacation. They're going to come chasing you. They're kind of like, they want to return. I'm telling you, they do. They're worried about telling you the truth. They're depressed. So they might have been juggling a family situation. They were hiding their true feelings toward you. They are watching you. They are, they are. They want to, to offer you an apology. They want to restart with you. Something about a karmic uh, family situation. They got to end some kind of relationship. It could be a divorce. Yeah. They're strategizing in secret how to, how to divorce somebody, how to come towards you. Yes, they do. They're looking at some kind of commitment. Hmm. <laughs> They were trying to, like, avoid their feelings toward you. They got to hurt someone else to come toward you. But they can't shake their feelings of love. They were, like, playing the waiting game, thinking that you were going to come toward them. They're drinking heavily. This person is up late at night. They're worried about hurting a family. They thought, well, maybe we're better off being friends because this person they were torn. They thought all these distractions, like drinking, working really hard, third parties, would keep their mind off of you, but they can't. They just can't. They thought, oh, I'm going to get back out into the dating scene. I'll party. I'll do this. I'll do that. All to stop thinking about you, but it's not working. They were like... Nothing they do can keep you off their mind. Like, they're being, they weren't being honest with their true feelings. And because they were getting, they're saying they were getting mixed signals from you because you were sensing that, well, they could have been all wrapped up in everything else, to be real. I think they were giving you mixed signals. This person is going to come back. They have texted you many, many times and not sent them. 
but they're at their breaking point. They can't deny how they feel any longer. Hmm. They gotta end a situation to come to you. They're strategizing. They're gonna have to divorce somebody or separate with somebody. Something to do with a contract. Maybe they're in a marriage contract or have to sign some kind of contract. It could be a parenting contract or something like that or a business contract that they're in that they got to strategize on. This person, no matter what they do, they can't get you off their mind. They're partying, they were dating, they're drinking, working hard, trying to distract themselves, but they can't. You're still on their mind. They're still fantasizing sexually about you and they are fantasizing being with you and they are strategizing how to get you back. Take care.